A theory spawning out of Dune, part 2 story claims that Phaedratha has dreams similar to those of Paul Atreides. Throughout Dune, part 1 and Dune, part 2, much of Paul's story centers around him becoming the fabled messianic figure of the Freeman. Dune, part 2's Lisan al Gabe prophecy was somewhat built for Timothy Chalamet's Paul by the Bene Gesserit, with the young Atreides prince fulfilling the path of destiny woven before him by the film's end. Interestingly, Paul's fate was foreshadowed long before he became Lisan al Gabe. This was teased via Paul's visions and dreams in Dune, Part 2, in which the character sees glimpses of the future that he is set to embark on. These prescient dreams are a major part of Dune, Part 1 and Dune, Part 2 concerning Paul's character, though one theory has also tied them to Austin Butler's Phaedratha. If true, this theory would mark a big book change in Dune 2 but could explain one hint found in the film regarding Phaedratha's character. Phaedratha does not have prescient powers like Paul in Dune 2. Austin Butler as Phaedratha smiling creepily in Dune, Part 2. The theory in question claims that Phaedratha has precognitive dreams similar to Paul after the Harkonnen warrior claims to have dreamt about Leah Seydoux's Margot Fenring. However, despite this hint being found in Dune, Part 2, it is not the case that Phaedratha has similar abilities to Paul Atreides. For one, Phaedratha's prescient powers would likely have been overtly confirmed in Dune, Part 2 if it were the case. Furthermore, nothing about Phaedratha possessing such abilities is found in Frank Herbert's original book, meaning the aforementioned hint in Dune may second link to another aspect of the universe's lore. Phaedratha's dream in Dune 2 hints at Bene Gesserit tampering. Rather than Phaedratha's Margocentric dreams hinting at potential precognition, they instead reference the interference of the Bene Gesserit in Dune's great houses. As was confirmed in both movies, the Bene Gesserit has long been crossing bloodlines between the noble houses of the Dune universe. For 10,000 years, the Bene Gesserit have been doing so to produce the Kwisatz Haderach, another name for the Freeman's Lisan al Gabe. In Dune, Part 2, it was confirmed that Margot Fenring seduced Phaedratha in order to preserve his bloodline. The meeting between the two of them saw Margot become pregnant, further hinting at the tampering of the Bene Gesserit in the continuation of Dune's noble houses. Therefore, it can be assumed that Phaedratha's dream of Margot in Dune, Part 2 was orchestrated by the latter to further the Bene Gesserit's goals of eventually breeding the Kwisatz Haderach, a role taken up by Paul Atreides in the film's climactic final act.